Hey guys, Paul Wooten here. I want to come to you guys and show you a couple of things that I got in my collection here that I, that I forgot that I had. And um, it's these uh, sprint cars. Um, 124 scale sprint car. This one's actually Tony Stewart um, from the Michael Ross Memorial Foundation um, from the Extreme Series. It's when NASCAR did a bunch of uh, um, like a legend and go back in a remake some of the cars that some of the drivers had years ago before they started making die casts. This one was produced in 2004 and it's a pretty awesome piece. Um, I got to looking at it, first time I've actually ever had it out of the, out of the box, but of course you can see it's got the, um, the Hoosier tires, deep big tires in the back, and this side here is, whoop, take that off. Lay it to the side. It's the front spoiler. You notice this wheel here is bigger than the other because when they go into the curves, that wheel they lean on that rear wheel there to help them get around the corners. And of course, this wing is there. You know, allows the the then to lean into the wind and roll around, and keep balanced, which is pretty awesome. But these dudes are here. Move. I mean, they fly. Um, I was going to tell you, these cars, back in the day, they, they, uh, they run on, um, primary raced on banked oval dirt tracks. They do run on asphalt. They range from a quarter to a mile. Um, sprint cars are powered by fuel-injected menthol, methanol-burning, um, fuel, and they have 400, 800 horsepower. And they could exceed speeds of 150 miles per hour. And that's pretty quick on a little quarter mile track. Um, you know, they race these all over the United States. Multiple tracks everywhere. And um, so that's a little bit of racing history on that. I don't know a whole lot about it. I love watching it. I just didn't know all the details. Let's take this upper wing off. Kind of get a closer look here where the driver sits I think the NASCAR guys got a hard time getting out of a car and the fuel that they run here burns um, invisible correct me if I'm incorrect but so they really can't see if they're on fire or not but cool thing about this bad boy is here this hood comes off and shows this Rigging detailed out um, engine. This one here, like I said, was made in 2002, released anyway. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome there. The front wing removes off of it too. Looks like he ran for Mopar back then. Kind of. Now I got another one I'm going to show you that's not near, it's a whole lot older version of this and not near as detailed. But this piece here, the driver of that, you've never heard of him, Brad Dottie, D-O-T-Y. This was released in 1995. Kind of shows how much they came along with these die casts. This one is um, actually a whole lot heavier. This wing is extremely heavy. Um, the front wing here don't come off. This one does come off, but it's hard to get back on, so I'm going to leave it on there. Um, there's a difference between the rear tire. That's pretty cool. This one's going to stay together because it's one. I got another one just like it, but the, one of the brackets broke on it, so I'm afraid if I take this one back off, it's going to break. So these dudes right here are going to go in my display case. Um, that is pretty bad, man. That is awesome. So, um, I hope you guys that enjoy this type of kind of racing enjoy this video. Um, trying to work on doing some different things here. Um, be showing some cool legend NASCAR cars here recent here in the future. Um, but yeah, that is one bad car. 
So it goes back together like this. Put that on the front. And this in here has got little hinges. So it sticks on right here. And that's that. This bead right here goes on top. So you got the old with the new. They're real, real close to being the same. running Goodyear tires, one's running Hoosier. They're basically the same size, just with a few improvements on the front end. Details on the engine is awesome. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, cool new things to them. I'm no fancy photographer or filmmaker, so I kind of just roll with the flow, try to be the been too much time editing and all that stuff it kind of takes the fun out of finishing one and starting another right <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it paul wf customs out of here